Bam. Hey food nerds, I'm Julian Fader, the Gastro Nerd, and this is the Super Bowl edition of the Gastro Nerd where I teach you super recipes for a super party. So what would Super Bowl be without some chicken wings? My point exactly. So instead of the classic buffalo chicken wings, I thought we could make a play on that and do a sriracha honey chicken wing. Similar, still spicy, still delicious, just a little different. So to get started, there are really only two main steps to chicken wings. You're gonna bake the wings. Yes, I like to bake my wings. I think it's just easier and healthier, so why not? And then we're gonna make our sriracha honey sauce that we're gonna toss everything in with the end. So here I have four wings. Obviously, you can make more depending on how many people. I'm gonna place my wings on a baking sheet with a wire rack. This is gonna help guarantee that the wings are nice and evenly crispy around as opposed to soggy. No one wants soggy wings. So I have my little drumettes, my wings, and I'm just gonna give them a nice coating of salt. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. If you have a convection oven, also that's great. But yeah, skin side up, these are gonna crisp up. It's gonna be about 45 minutes or so. And you can turn them if you wanna make sure that they're evenly crispy. So into the oven. Now that my wings are in the oven, like I said, they're gonna be about 40 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna get my sauce going. So only three main ingredients, or four, because I always gotta have a little salt. Um, so traditionally, buffalo chicken wings are just Tabasco and butter. So instead, I'm doing sriracha, honey, and butter. So depending on, obviously, I don't have, this is about three tablespoons of butter. This, And I'm gonna give, this all depends on your heat tolerance. A nice amount of sriracha. And I love a little sweet with my spicy. salt. Remember my chicken is salted but a little extra. So as you see it was just about a drizzle. I, I know I do everything to eye but really if you want it to be a little bit more spicy add more sriracha. You want it to be sweeter add more honey. This is where you get to be creative and have fun and just but you see by whisking it because of the butter what it's doing is it's emulsifying so you have one nice even sauce. So you can even use this as a dipping sauce later as well if you want to do like carrots and celery sticks. But yeah, that's pretty delicious. All right, my brother likes things really spicy, so I'm gonna give a tiny more sriracha. But other than that, that's it. That should be plenty of sauce to coat. I mind you, only made a few wings. If you're gonna do more wings, more sauce. And we're actually gonna toss the wings in this bowl so I can just leave it as is and just wait for my wings to be ready. And that is it. The wings are out of the oven, and as you can see, they're nice and crispy and totally golden. So while they're still hot, it's really crucial to throw them, whoop, flying wing. <laughs> Whoever said chickens didn't fly? So I'm gonna stick them right into my sauce. Ooh, and you can feel the skin is nice. I flipped them midway through. Like I said, it was about 40, 45 minutes. Yowzers, they're still gonna be hot. Now you get to, this is my favorite part. Make sure they get a nice even coating. And then right onto the plate they go. Oh yeah. So now for the moment of truth. Mm. They're crispy, they're sweet, they're spicy. It's a great chicken wing. And as you can tell, you can get pretty creative with the sauce too. Whatever you have lying around, as so long as you mix it with a little bit of butter, it's uh, automatically a chicken wing sauce. So that's it, your basic chicken wing, a must have for the Super Bowl. Wings. Throw them in the oven, toss them in sauce. Done deal. Well, thanks for watching the Gastro Nerd Super Bowl edition. I'm Julianne Fader. Stay tuned for more delicious Super Bowl nerdiness and more delicious nerdiness to come. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you soon.